All right, you guys, today we're going to be taking the slides widget to another level. And by that, I mean, we're going to be replacing the dots, as you know, the navigation dots with words. And this is something that I'm, I did for a client and you know who you are. And I managed to make this uh, to be hoverable. And so when you hover over the word, then the slides would change. You can also click on them and the slides would change as well. And also you have the option to leave it to the slide automatically. So there are many options here. You can choose one of them. You can have them all at the same time enabled and this will work. So let's get into it. All right. So this is the inspiration for our effect today. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, the slides automatically slide. And if you hover over them, over the words, the slides slide. Yeah. If you click on the words, it redirects you to somewhere else on the website. And this can be also done with our effect. So that is the inspiration. And I think we have achieved that. All right. So let's go back to our slide. So what we want to do now is basically remove stuff and add our own. Okay. All right. So let's add a container to the page and we're going to set this container to be full width and the height to be 80 vh and we are going to be adding the slides widget okay so let's go to look for slides and here it is it's just this one as simple as that it looks like this and i am going to delete the slides and i'm going to work on one and then we duplicate so we don't have too many you know things that we need to change at the same time start creating our first slide okay so let's just open it. We're going to add an image in here and let's see. Let's go with this image. First of all, this is very beautiful. Yeah, uh, we're going to add a background overlay here because we wanted to we want to see the, the, the text better. Right. So I think we're going to stick with what we have right now. That is pretty OK to me. We could also do different uh, blend modes here if we want but I am not going to go into that. All right. And I'm going to remove this uh, color here. I don't want it either. And let's go to content. I am going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. And I'm also going to, I can't remove the button. It seems like, but I can simply uh, do that. Okay. At this point, that's all we're going to do. And also let's go to style. Let's turn the custom button on to yes. And let's set the horizontal position to be left. And I think that's it for now. And now we can duplicate this and change the image. And we're going to be able to add the code and everything else. OK, so first of all, duplication. Let's uh, change the image and I'm going to change it to this and then duplicate again. Let's change it to this. And duplicate again and okay another one and this is the last one okay and that is it and what we're gonna do first of all i will add the css and you will see that these dots right here down here yeah they will change we're gonna add words so we're gonna have four words here and let's go to slides as you are in slides go to advanced and this is what we're, where we're going to have our custom css you could also add it in the container in the parent container if you want but i prefer to have it in the widget itself and here we go let me drop it in there <laughs> i mean how easy was that unbelievably easy right so right now if you hover over the words let me just publish they do not change the slide but you can actually add some some javascript for that so i actually i think i'm going to change the height to 100 vh and this uh, as well because it looks much better right let's just have another look yeah and then maybe we can move this a little higher and make more space um uh, basically adjust it right so let me go in the slides let me go to the css and we could say some we could change the the space here the padding let's say 160 yeah so it's a little bit higher and we can change the the padding between the words here yeah so let's say 40 i don't know 
if this is okay let's have a look i think this is uh much better yeah absolutely so you can add even more space if you want let's just say 50. right now it looks funny here but it's okay you can adjust it all right so let's just go through this css here so these are the dots okay if you want to change the words obviously you can change them here so let's just say let's go to the inspiration website and say lights visuals and so on and so forth lights visuals yeah let's see it on the front end and keep in mind that whatever font you use here will you will have to adjust the padding and everything else so if you want to make the font uh, bigger for example uh you adjust it here so i'm gonna say let's say it's three this is pretty good i think this is the, their size i would go a little bit bigger even so look at ours i think this is perfection honestly it looks really good yeah so you could adjust the color here so you could make it a little less uh transparent yeah you could also go to styles and go to navigation and play around with this but in my experience it didn't really work very well so that's why i did the custom code as you can see you can also control the space from here if you want and the size it doesn't work because this uh, is a font so i'm gonna leave that off so and this one as well and I will just control it with custom CSS. So if you want to add your custom font in here, go to this part of the CSS and say font family and bring in your Google font, for example, or whatever font you have, even if you have a font that is in your library in Elementor. Yeah. So let me see. All right. So let's see this font, for example. Yeah. Let's go to get this font, get them bad. So what we need from here is font family inter sans serif size auto weight okay this is very interesting okay let's let's just get this one all right this is pretty cool let's go here let's go to our css advanced and drop it in here so i will just replace this part and say 800 okay and i'm going to remove this and that's what we have let's see okay i'm gonna fix it arrange it a little bit better but let's see how it looks on the front end and it looks pretty cool so this is the font i think it's a very cool font so this is how you get google fonts yeah in the css code here and if you're wondering if this is working on mobile it is you just have to add media queries and i will have the code with media queries but you will have to adjust them yourself so bring in the code in ChatGPT and ask it to work it for your own case use case okay so this is very easy very easy to do right now I'm going to add JavaScript so you can hover over the words like in our example and have this slide slide basically. All right, let's go to add an HTML widget right here, drop it. I'm going to add my code just like that. OK, so here you don't have to do absolutely anything. You just leave it the way it is. Yeah. Let me just publish. You can also add this code in the Elementor custom code if you have Elementor Pro. But yeah, as you can see, now you hover over and it just changes. As simple as that. And if you want to move the, the text uh, somewhere higher, basically. And now we are in the styles and I'm at the navigation. And as you can see, I have the position of the dots now turned to words inside. Yeah. You can play around with this, you can have them outside, but you will have to adjust the positioning of the dots on the page. I want to adjust the padding to be somewhere around 250 and they are quite high here. So if you want to add it at the top, you have to add more padding. Yeah. And then you would have to adjust this for different devices as well. As you can see, this is where we are. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So I would say a thousand. So it's at the top. And this is another way you can make it work, right? Again, as I said, this is up to you and how you use it for your own use case. Of course, these are just the basic blocks of the effect. Let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this place here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.